marriage is it's it's all about coming together as one on everything and all things. Everything and all things. My money is together with her money. It's no our money, her account, my no, we're not doing that shit. You know, it's just one pot with me. That's what it is. There's no secret account. She's not going on girls trips. We're not doing all that other bullshit. We're not doing that. That's not that's not what it I I don't I, I don't understand. But and like I was saying, I guess earlier, a lot of these things we should have found out before we got married. I should be just now learning a lot of shit about this woman prior to marriage. That's what I need to learn. I need to interrogate. I don't I don't ask questions. I'm I'm not interrogating. You know, I'm gonna interrogate the woman who I find interesting in and who I believe in, who I'm gonna bless with my last name. Because marriage, man, is the highest form uh, uh, that a, a blessings that a man can bestow on a woman. The highest bestow a woman can bless on a man is a, is, is a child. And if I'm going to bless you with, with something that no other woman, a lot of women don't have, who can't obtain, who can't even fathom or can't keep together, man, that's a blessing. Having a, a sugar daddy or having a, a, a trophy wife or uh, you playing the role as a as a hoe. Um, if whatever it is that you choose, uh, you have to be aware of what comes with it and once you're aware of it you have to be willing to accept it so if if you're not willing to put in the work uh to to have a noble relationship if you solely want a trophy wife that brings nothing to the table aside from that then you can't complain about her not bringing nothing else to the table if you solely want a man that's going to provide just financially then you can't complain about this man not bringing anything else to the table. If you want to lead with your money, then you have to be okay with women treating you that way. If you only want to lead with your pussy, then you have to be okay with men treating you that way. That it, it just comes a part of it. And I think the issue is, is that people are choosing these roles and not wanting to take on or accept the repercussions that come with it. So I, I think that if we, if people, if we get to the, the, to being blunt enough of telling people this, then I, I think that we can knock out a lot of the confusion. Go ahead, Cookie. I don't, I don't know. I feel like, um, there's a lot of facades and fakeness that comes into even choosing a role because when you're when you're how do i explain this without saying that we overthinking this again like i don't understand why people can't just get to know people have their boundaries set and develop relationships with people that they care about without there being some kind of um label to it other than i like this person you know and i need this person whether it's financial whether it's sex whether it's oh she pretty and i can take her to all the galas who cares? I just I just think that we should make sure that the the foundation of your relationship is love. Your qualifications of what you love is nobody's business. It, I I just don't believe that if your wife absolutely has to give head every day that is none of our business <laughs> you know what i mean like if your husband needs to buy you a bag a month and you're making sure he gets it, those those kind of situations that's that's none of our business so i think if we get down to the back to the foundation of what love and marriage actually should be then all the facades will disappear on their own. And this just goes back to people minding their own damn business. 
And it's hard to do with all the, the social media out there and people, you know, but that's where parenting comes in. But me being my age, my, my algorithm is filled with comedy. So I'm I'm not, <laughs> I've made sure my algorithm, I wake up when it's time to check my social media. It's something that's going to make me laugh. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess I sit here and I listen and they're like, oh, the role of this and the role of that. If if somebody found somebody that wanted a trophy wife and this woman is okay with being a trophy wife, oh, oh good for them. Good for them. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Over dissecting things can also sometimes become more tedious than just doing what comes natural to being a human being. That's all I'm saying. All right, go ahead, Brother Hank. Well, a lot was said, I guess, in that, that clip calling marriage prostitute. I, I would, damn, that's, that's funny. Uh, I wouldn't consider marriage prostitution. Maybe dating, I could see that uh, under the umbrella of prostitution, but not marriage. Uh, the reason why I say probably dating is because of, you know, if I take a woman out, you know, and I expect to get some some live action after the date, then yeah, I'm pretty much paying for the ass pretty much. We, You know, just a dinner was just a formality. I, I should have just put whatever I pay for the dinner on the goddamn nightstand and keep it moving. Now, I could see where that could be labeled. Um, like I said, uh, prostitution, but marriage? No, because that's something totally different. Because this is, at least for me, marriage is is it's all about coming together as one on everything and all things. Everything and all things. My money is together with her money. It's no our money, her account, my. No, we're not doing that shit. You know, it's just one pot with me. That's what it is. There's no secret account. She's not going on girls' trips. We're not doing all that other bullshit. We're not doing that. That's not. That's not what it. I, I don't. I, I don't understand. But and like I was saying, I guess earlier, a lot of these things we should have found out before we got married. I should be just now learning a lot of shit about this woman prior to marriage. That's what I need to learn. I, I need to interrogate. I don't. I don't ask questions. I'm. I'm gonna interrogate. The, you know. I'm gonna interrogate the woman who I find interesting in and who I believe in, who I'm going to bless with my last name. Because marriage, man, is the highest form uh, uh, that of blessings that a man can bestow on a woman. The highest bestow a woman can bless on a man is a, is, is a child. And if I'm going to bless you with, with something that no other woman, a lot of women don't have, who can't obtain, who can't even fathom or can't even keep together, man, that's a blessing. But like the same thing, you will bless on me with a, with, with a child that a lot of women don't have. Especially ones with their husbands. So I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I just I want to remind people too that nobody really talks about what marriage was originally, how it was originally structured. Women were considered property at one point in a marriage. And so when we talk about I don't agree that uh prostitution is is in there, but I also don't agree that men were masters or slave owners. It really is just about perspective and what you agree to sign up for. That's the bottom line. It could be spun both ways. 